All right, we're doing this as the shortest knife review, short and final knife review. To buck knives, you a victim of your own success, homeboy. Because let me tell you, once you own a buck 119, you don't need any other knife. You pay for quality. This is the best knife the money can buy. And here's the thing, victim of your own success. Once you own a buck, you don't need to, you don't need anything else. It's the end game. So again, this review is short, final. We believe this is the best knife that money can buy. The Buck 119. That's all, folks. See, it's solid. You're not getting movement in the guard. Uh, you're not seeing any type of wobble. You ain't getting movement in the guard. You ain't getting a wobble. It's... Uh, uh, other people have put it to really, really, really extreme, even if bizarre test. This is solid fixed blade, as good as gets. The end of the knife review. Okay, let's get a little more opinionated, slightly more substantive. In our opinion, the Buck 119 is it. Uh, we've reviewed and looked at other Buck knives uh, from the 120, uh, other you know tactical knives, field knives. In our humble opinion, the best knife on earth is a buck 119 that you can get at Walmart around 75 bucks. Okay. And in our opinion, so there's a lot of, you know, other uh, blades that are, you know, that, that might have more lore, but in our opinion, uh, K bar, some type of, uh, military fighting knife, in our opinion, it's just the buck 119. So again, uh, victim of your own success. My, my philosophy: once once you got a buck one nineteen, you ain't, you ain't gonna buy any other knives. So that's it. And, uh, they make it so good that buck ain't making any more money from me uh, because uh, you make your product so good. There's you know what, you got a buck one nineteen. If there's no more, nothing else. End of story. Bye. All right, hello again. And basically, just wanted to put, we just think it's a myth. Oh, uh, you gotta go to a, you know, a depot, basically basically some specialty. Nope, best knife on earth. You can find a 75 bucks right at freaking Walmart. It's that simple. Best knife on earth. Buck 119, no more knife reviews because, listen, you got th we, got, we got three bucks, three buck 119s. There's no, there's no more new knives, no more new purchases. So they ain't making any more money. Victim of your own success. You make something so good, no one has any need to ever buy more stuff. And lastly, on the quality note, again, if you see an eight inch massive imitation K bar and it's eight bucks, if, if it's eight inch K bar, $12. No, that's, that's, that's made in China junk. Okay, um, for quality, you're going to have to pay for quality. All right, so uh, some other models are up there. But again, um, just wanted to put to rest this idea. You need to go to a specialty tactical surplus store where they specialized in USMC fighting knives. No, no. A good field knife, buck 119, the buck. The buck stops right here. So if folk thought we're going to be uh, become a knife review channel, nope, you're wrong. Because the buck stops here. We ain't going to review no valley songs. Uh, those, those are called the butterflies. Nah. You want a good fixed blade? Buck stops right here. And on the flip side, the buck ain't making more money from us because... You make the quality, you make the goods. Once you got the good, it this this is stuff that will last a lifetime. It'll last past my lifetime. So the uh, the buck stops here, but who knows? The material <laughs> can outlast a person. That's how good buck is on dear craftsmanship. Amen. Amen. Amen.